In a mixture of gases, each constituent gas has a partial pressure which is the notional pressure of that constituent gas if it alone occupied the entire volume of the original mixture at the same temperature. The total pressure of an ideal gas mixture is the sum of the partial pressures of the gases in the mixture. The partial pressure of a gas is a measure of thermodynamic activity of the gas molecules. Gases dissolve, diffuse, and react according to their partial pressures, and not according to their concentrations in gas mixtures or liquids. This general property of gases is also true in chemical reactions of gases in biology. For example, the necessary amount of oxygen for human respiration, and the amount that is toxic, is set by the partial pressure of oxygen alone. This is true across a very wide range of different concentrations of oxygen present in various inhaled breathing gases or dissolved in blood. The partial pressures of oxygen and carbon dioxide are important parameters in tests of arterial blood gases, but can also be measured in, for example, cerebrospinal fluid. Topic. Symbol The symbol for pressure is usually P or P which may use a subscript to identify the pressure, and gas species are also referred to by subscript. When combined these subscripts are applied recursively. Examples P 1 display style p underscore 1 or p 1 display style p underscore 1 equals pressure at time 1 p h 2 display style p underscore h underscore 2 or p h 2 display style p underscore h underscore 2 equals partial pressure of hydrogen p v o 2 Display style P underscore V underscore O underscore two or P V O two Display style P underscore V underscore O underscore two equals Venus partial pressure of oxygen equals Topic: Dalton's law of partial pressures. Equals. Dalton's law expresses the fact that the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of the individual gases in the mixture. This equality arises from the fact that in an ideal gas the molecules are so far apart that they do not interact with each other. Most actual real-world gases come very close to this ideal. For example, given an ideal gas mixture of nitrogen N2, hydrogen H2, and ammonia NH3, P equals P N two plus P H two plus P N H three 
Display style P equals P underscore C E N two plus P underscore C E H two plus P underscore C E N H three. Topic Ideal gas mixtures. Ideally the ratio of partial pressures equals the ratio of the number of molecules. That is, the mole fraction x i displaystyle x underscore mathem i of an individual gas component in an ideal gas mixture can be expressed in terms of the component's partial pressure or the moles of the component x i equals p i p equals n i n Display style x underscore mathem i equals frac p underscore mathem i p equals frac n underscore mathem i n, and the partial pressure of an individual gas component in an ideal gas can be obtained using this expression. P i equals x i p display style p underscore mathrm i equals x underscore mathrm i c d o t p the mole fraction of a gas component in a gas mixture is equal to the volumetric fraction of that component in a gas mixture the ratio of partial pressures relies on the following isotherm relation V X V T O T equals P X P T O T equals N X N T O T Display style FRAC V underscore X V underscore Tot equals FRAC P underscore X P underscore Tot equals FRAC N underscore X N underscore Tot VX as the partial volume of any individual gas component X VTOT is the total volume of the gas mixture. PX is the partial pressure of gas X. PTOT is the total pressure of the gas mixture. NX is the amount of substance of gas X. NTOT is the total amount of substance in gas mixture. Topic: Partial volume, Amagat's law of additive volume. The partial volume of a particular gas in a mixture is the volume of one component of the gas mixture. It is useful in gas mixtures, e.g., air, to focus on one particular gas component, e.g., oxygen. It can be approximated both from partial pressure and molar fraction. V x equals V T O T times P x P T O T 
equals v t o t times n x n t o t Display style v underscore x equals v underscore tot times frac p underscore x p underscore tot equals v underscore tot times frac n underscore x n underscore tot. V x is the partial volume of an individual gas component x in the mixture. VTOT is the total volume of the gas mixture. PX is the partial pressure of gas X. PTOT is the total pressure of the gas mixture. NX is the amount of substance of gas X. NTOT is the total amount of substance in the gas mixture. Topic: Vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is the pressure of a vapor in equilibrium with its non-vapor phases, i.e., liquid or solid. Most often, the term is used to describe a liquid's tendency to evaporate. It is a measure of the tendency of molecules and atoms to escape from a liquid or a solid. A liquid's atmospheric pressure boiling point corresponds to the temperature at which its vapor pressure is equal to the surrounding atmospheric pressure and it is often called the normal boiling point. The higher the vapor pressure of a liquid at a given temperature, the lower the normal boiling point of the liquid. The vapor pressure chart displayed has graphs of the vapor pressures versus temperatures for a variety of liquids. As can be seen in the chart, the liquids with the highest vapor pressures have the lowest normal boiling points. For example, at any given temperature, methyl chloride has the highest vapor pressure of any of the liquids in the chart. It also has the lowest normal boiling point minus 24.2 degrees Celsius, which is where the vapor pressure curve of methyl chloride the blue line intersects the horizontal pressure line of one atmosphere ATM of absolute vapor pressure. Note that at higher altitudes, the atmospheric pressure is less than that at sea level, so boiling points of liquids are reduced. At the top of Mount Everest, the atmospheric pressure is approximately 0.333 atmospheres, so by using the graph, the boiling point of diethyl ether would be approximately 7.5 degrees Celsius versus 34.6 degrees Celsius at sea level 1 atmosphere. Topic. Equilibrium constants of reactions involving gas mixtures It is possible to work out the equilibrium constant for a chemical reaction involving a mixture of gases given the partial pressure of each gas and the overall reaction formula. For a reversible reaction involving gas reactants and gas products, such as A A plus B B left right arrow C C plus D D Display style A plus B, B left right arrow C, C plus D, D. The equilibrium constant of the reaction would be K P 
equals P C C P D D P A A P B B Display style K underscore P equals FRAC P underscore C carrot C P underscore D carrot D P underscore A carrot A P underscore B carrot B for reversible reactions, changes in the total pressure, temperature or reactant concentrations will shift the equilibrium so as to favor either the right or left side of the reaction in accordance with Le Chatelier principle. However, the reaction kinetics may either oppose or enhance the equilibrium shift. In some cases, the reaction kinetics may be the overriding factor to consider. Topic: <inaudible> Henry's law and the solubility of gases. Gases will dissolve in liquids to an extent that is determined by the equilibrium between the undissolved gas and the gas that has dissolved in the liquid called the solvent. The equilibrium constant for that equilibrium is 1 K equals P X C X display style k equals frac p underscore x c underscore x. The form of the equilibrium constant shows that the concentration of a solute gas in a solution is directly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas above the solution. This statement is known as Henry's law and the equilibrium constant. K display style K is quite often referred to as the Henry's law constant. Henry's law is sometimes written as 2 K equals C X P X Display style K equals FRAC C underscore X P underscore X where K Display style K is also referred to as the Henry's law constant. As can be seen by comparing equations one and two above K display style K is the reciprocal of K display style K since both may be referred to as the Henry's law constant readers of the technical literature must be quite careful to note which version of the Henry's law equation is being used Henry's law is an approximation that only applies for dilute, ideal solutions and for solutions where the liquid solvent does not react chemically with the gas being dissolved. In diving breathing gases In underwater diving the physiological effects of individual component gases of breathing gases is a function of partial pressure. Using diving terms, partial pressure is calculated as Partial pressure equals total absolute pressure times volume fraction of gas component for the component gas I P 
PPI equals P times fifth or example at 50 meters 164 feet underwater the total absolute pressure is 6 bars 600 kilopascals ie 1 bar of atmospheric pressure plus 5 bars of water pressure and the partial pressures of the main components of air, oxygen 21% by volume and nitrogen approximately 79% by volume are PPN2 topic 6 bars times 0 0.79 4. 7 bars absolute PPO2 Topic 6 bars times 0 0.21 1.3 bars absoluteth minimum safe lower limit for the partial pressures of oxygen in a gas mixture as 0.16 bars 16 kilopascals absolute hypoxia and sudden unconsciousness becomes a problem with an oxygen partial pressure of less than 0.16 bars absolute Oxygen toxicity, involving convulsions, becomes a problem when oxygen partial pressure is too high. The NOAA Diving Manual recommends a maximum single exposure of 45 minutes at 1.6 bars absolute, of 120 minutes at 1.5 bars absolute, of 150 minutes at 1.4 bars absolute, of 180 minutes at 1.3 bars absolute and of 210 minutes at 1.2 bars absolute. Oxygen toxicity becomes a risk when these oxygen partial pressures and exposures are exceeded. The partial pressure of oxygen determines the maximum operating depth of a gas mixture. Narcosis is a problem when breathing gases at high pressure. Typically, the maximum total partial pressure of narcotic gases used when planning for technical diving may be around 4.5 bars absolute, based on an equivalent narcotic depth of 35 meters (115 feet). The effect of a toxic contaminant such as carbon monoxide in breathing gas is also related to the partial pressure when breathed. A mixture which may be relatively safe at the surface could be dangerously toxic at the maximum depth of a dive, or a tolerable level of carbon dioxide in the breathing loop of a diving rebreather may become intolerable within seconds during descent when the partial pressure rapidly increases, and could lead to panic or incapacitation of the diver. Topic in medicine: the partial pressures of particularly oxygen P O two display style P underscore mathrm O underscore two and carbon dioxide P C O two display style p underscore mathrm co underscore two are important parameters in tests of arterial blood gases, but can also be measured in, for example, cerebrospinal fluid. Topic. See also. Breathing gas, gas used for human respiration Henry's law, relation of equilibrium solubility of a gas in a liquid to its partial pressure in the contacting gas phase 
ideal gas, theoretical gas composed of many randomly moving point particles whose only interactions are perfectly elastic collisions. Ideal gas law, the equation of state of a hypothetical ideal gas. Mole fraction, the proportion of a constituent to the total amount of all constituents in a mixture, expressed in mole per mole. Mole unit SI unit of amount of substance, Avogadro number of elementary entities. Vapor, a substance in the gas phase at a temperature lower than its critical point. 